All right, so um, on this one, we're going to be talking about polygons. You guys have come across polygons as well. Those are triangles and rectangles and squares. Those are called polygons. And before we get started into this lesson, I'm going to let you watch a little um, video. Hi there. Welcome to Math Anthony. So far in our series in geometry, we've learned about points, lines, planes, and angles. In this lesson, we're going to learn about another important element of geometry. We're going to learn about polygons. You probably already know a lot about polygons because you see them all the time. Here are some common examples that you might recognize. These shapes are all polygons. That's because a polygon just means a multi-sided shape. And these shapes all have multiple sides. Okay, so that's a basic definition of a polygon, but to really understand what is a polygon and what is not a polygon, we need to learn about the specific properties that all polygons have in common. First, we need to know the three parts that make up all polygons, and these parts are sides, vertices, and angles. The sides are just the straight line segments that make up a polygon, and the vertices are the points where the sides intersect and the angles are formed by the intersecting lines. In fact, in Greek, the word polygon literally means many angles. So all polygons have sides, vertices, and angles. This polygon here has five sides, five vertices, and it forms five angles. The next thing we need to know about polygons is that they're closed shapes. Now what does it mean for a shape to be closed, you ask? Well, it means that the sides are connected so that there are no gaps. The area inside the shape is separated from the area outside the shape, and there's no way to get from the inside to the outside without crossing a line. It might help to think of a closed shape like a cage. If you put an ant inside the cage, then there's no way for it to get out without crossing a line. But if the shape is open, then there is a way out. So these are all examples of closed shapes, and these are all examples of open shapes. And the important thing to remember is that a polygon must be closed. And the last thing we need to know about polygons is that they're two-dimensional, or flat shapes. And that means that all the vertices must lie on the same plane. If any one of the vertices were to move forwards or backwards so that it wasn't on the same plane as all the other vertices, then it wouldn't be a flat shape anymore. Flat shapes are also called planar shapes because all of their points are on the same plane. And even though polygons themselves can't be 3D shapes, you can use polygons to make 3D shapes, like a box, for example. The box is not a polygon, but each of its flat sides is a polygon. All right, then. We now have a specific definition of a polygon. A polygon is a multi-sided shape that has sides, vertices, and angles. A polygon is a closed shape, and a polygon is a two-dimensional or a flat shape. And now that you know that, it's time to play Polygon or Not a Polygon. Now here's your host, me. Thank you, thank you. All right. Now the rules of the game are simple. I'm going to show you a shape, and you tell me if it's a polygon or not a polygon. Are you ready to play? Our first shape is a square. Is a square a polygon? Yes. Square has four sides and four vertices, and it's a closed 2D shape, so it is a polygon. And next we have, hmm, not exactly sure what to call this, but is it a polygon? Nope, it's close, but because it's an open shape, it can't be a polygon. All right, what about this one? Polygon or not polygon? Yep, it is a polygon. Even though the sides aren't all the same length, it is a closed, 2D, multi-sided shape. In fact, if you count, you'll see that it has seven sides. Ah, what about this one? Is a circle a polygon? Well, it is a closed, 2D shape, but how many sides does it have? Now that's the problem. A circle doesn't have any straight sides, vertices, or angles. It's a curved shape. So it's not a polygon. Next, we have a star shape, just like me. Is it a polygon? Yup, 
It has straight sides and vertices, and it's a closed 2D shape. That means it's a polygon. And what about this one? Right you are. This is not a polygon. It's a dog. Ah, here's an interesting one. It's a closed 2D shape. It does have straight sides and vertices, but it also has this curved part here. Can it still be a polygon with that curve there? No. The curved part disqualifies it as a polygon. Polygon has to have only straight sides, so this is not a polygon. And what about this guy here? Is this a polygon? Well, it is just straight lines, but two of those lines cross. And if any lines cross, it can't be a polygon. Plus, he has this big open end here. So this guy is definitely not a polygon. And last of all, what about this one? Right you are. This is not a polygon because it's a 3D shape. It's made from polygon, but the whole shape is not a polygon itself. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Join us next week as we decide, is it bigger than one? Okay. So after playing that game, you should have a really good idea of what a polygon is and what it is not. The last thing I want to mention is that some polygons have special names depending on how many sides they have. Here's a list of the most important ones to know. Three-sided polygons are called triangles. Triangles are so important in geometry that they'll get a whole video of their own. Four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. <laughs> wow, now that's a fancy math word. But it helps if you just remember that the first part, quad, means four. Quadrilaterals are shapes like squares, rectangles, and parallelograms. They'll also get a video of their own. Five-sided polygons are called pentagons. Six-sided polygons are called hexagons. And eight-sided polygons are called octagons. By the way, polygons that have five, six, eight, or however many sides like this are called regular polygons if all of their angles are equal, and irregular polygons if their angles are not equal. Of course, there are a lot more polygons than that, but you probably won't need to know their names. As long as you know what polygons are and how to identify them, then you're ready to move on. The exercises for this section are pretty easy, so no excuses. Good luck, thanks for watching Math Antics, and I'll see you next time. Learn more at mathantics.com. All right. Okay, so you learned most of this already, so we'll just kind of go over it. A polygon is a closed-sided figure with straight lines. Okay, a closed-sided figure with straight lines. So this right here, not a polygon. Let's change colors. Um, this right here, not a polygon. Why? Because it's open right here. And this right here, not a polygon. I guess we could probably drag it. Curiosity, let's try to get the story again. No, you can only. Oh, straight lines, huh? That's why. Okay, straight lines, straight lines here. Uh, what about this one? Oh, it's got straight lines. Okay, good. All right, a triangle is closed three sided figure and it's got three angles. Okay, should be taking notes. Closed three sided figure, all of these are closed. Okay, uh, three sides. Oh, this one doesn't have three sides. This has got five. So let's throw that one away. Three sides. Oh, this is a square. It's got four. Let's throw that one away. Three sides. One. Oh, this only has two sides, right? Because the curve is only one side. All right. That leaves us with these ones. Okay. Do we have three angles? We have an angle here, an angle here, an angle here. That one's good. Angle here, angle here, angle here. That one's good. Angle here, angle here, angle here. That one's good. And angle here, angle here, and angle there. That's good as well. Those are all triangles. All right, a quadrilateral is a closed four-sided figure, and it's the four-sided polygon. Okay, a closed four-sided figure. So is there any one of these that are not four-sided? Um, this one right here has got six. This one here has got five. Um, the rest of these look like they have four sides. Okay. What about this one right here? This is kind of curved, so I would say it's probably not a side. Um, 
And those look all good to me. Let's see. Let's try them. Up oh, square. That's good. Oops. Square's good. Let me put my pen down. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Good. All right. Parallelogram. A parallelogram is four-sided closed figure. Okay, so all of those are closed. Good. Um, two pair of parallel sides, which means they are the same. Uh, going if they're going up and down on each side or across on each side, or in two pair of equal sides. All right. So first off, all of them are closed, but are any of them not four-sided? Okay. Arrow, not four-sided. Okay. Um, triangle, not four-sided. The rest of these appear to be four-sided. Good. All right. Two pair of parallel sides. Okay, parallel sides. And two pairs of equal sides. All right. So parallel sides. These have parallel sides. This uh, rectangle right here. Okay. And two equal sides. So the top right here is equal to the top on the bottom. And they're also parallel. Same thing on this side. So that makes it a parallelogram. What about this? Diamond. Okay, we've got equal sides here and equal sides here. This should be a parallelogram. Same thing with the square. Okay, even though it's a quadrilateral, it can also be a parallelogram. Um, this right here, we've got parallel sides here and parallel sides here, and they appear to be equal. And what about this one right here? We've got parallel sides here. These sides are not parallel, but they seem to be equal. Okay, parallelogram. All right, and then the rectangle also is a uh, parallelogram because it's got equal sides. So this one right here, a lot of people get confused. And same thing with this one because they're not straight up and down lines like a square or a diamond or a rectangle would be. Okay, but they're parallel lines, so it makes it a parallelogram. Same here, you got two parallel lines right here, makes it a parallelogram. Okay, as long as they're equal in length. All right, rectangle. You guys should all know rectangles. Rectangles are four-sided closed figures, two pair of parallel sides, four right angles, and the opposite sides are the same length. Okay, that's what differentiates it from a square. All right, so first let's eliminate what we can. So four-sided figures. Uh, this one's not a four-sided. This one's not a four-sided figure. This one, come on, not a four-sided figure. All right, the rest of them appear to have four sides. All right, two pair. Of parallel sides. So I have parallel sides here and parallel sides here. Okay, two pairs of them. Uh, I have parallel sides here, parallel sides here. Good. I have parallel sides here, parallel sides here. I have parallel sides here, parallel sides here. Parallel sides here, parallel sides here. Okay, these are not parallel over on this side. They go in different directions. Oops. So that is not a rectangle. Those lines. All right. Um, this one right here. What do you think? Okay. Um, it's got parallel sides, but does it have four right angles? Are these right angles? Because they're slanted, so they don't look right angles to me. So this should not be a rectangle. But there we go. All right. So the rest of these have right angles, straight up and down. Four of them. Moving on. All right, a square is four-sided closed figure with two pairs of parallel sides, which means all sides are parallel to each other. Uh, four equal sides and four right angles. Okay, so first of all, let's, they're all closed. Good. Four-sided. This one's not four-sided. Throw that one away. Um, two pair of parallel sides. This one with rounded corners. Would be a square if it wasn't rounded corners, but come on. Drag you away. All right, so the rest of them appear to be looking like squares, um, except for this one in the middle. I can recognize it's a rectangle, and it doesn't have four equal sides. This one, too. Rectangle doesn't have four equal sides. All right, so four equal sides looks like it. Four right angles looks like it. I got right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. Those are equal sides. This one's equal sides and right angles. This one's just a square tilted. That's all a diamond is. Okay, good. All right, moving on. Rhombus. Rhombus is a four-sided closed figure, two pair of parallel sides, and four equal sides. Okay, a rhombus is the same thing as a square. A 
square and a rhombus are the same thing. All right, four sided, so that leaves this one out. Trash. Come on, give me trash. Uh, this one's not four sided. Take that one out. All right, everything else looks like it's four sided. Two pairs of parallel sides. Parallel, 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 and parallel. Okay, and equal sides. All right. That's where we're going to change. So we got them all parallel. Which one of these don't have equal sides? I see one with not equal sides, and that would be this rectangle right here. These diamonds should be good to go. All right, a trapezoid, trapezoid, a trapezoid. I don't know why I said trapezoid, but a trapezoid is a four-sided closed figure, one pair of parallel sides. And then opposite sides may not be the same length. Okay, so first of all, four sided. This one's not four sided. Good. This one's not four sided. The rest of them appear to be four sided. Okay. Uh, one, one pair of parallel sides. So this one's parallel. These do not have to be parallel because I've already got one pair that is parallel. Uh, these are parallel. Good. These are parallel. This is parallel. This is parallel. This is parallel. Okay. And then opposite sides may not be the same length. So, it doesn't matter about the length. The only one that I would be questioning would be this rectangle right here. Okay? But since the these sides right here are kind of slanted, it makes it not a rectangle. Right? Rectangles have a, um, equal sides and length. I do believe that this is a trapezoid. Tra oh, not, not a trapezoid. What about this one right here? Not a trapezoid. Good. Trapezoids are going to look like this. So basically you have uneven sides um, with parallel sides, so they don't have to be the same length. This is not the same length as this. This is not the same length as that, so on and so forth. All right, edges. Okay, edges are important to know. Edges are the outside lines of a pair of a polygon. So when you're asked to find out what an edge is, or count how many edges there are, on this one there would be a total of six edges. Okay. This has got one, two, three edges. This has one, two, three, four, five edges. This has one, two, three, four edges. Okay. All right, faces. The face is a flat shape of a polygon. Okay. So if I'm looking at a face, it would be what's inside these lines. So this would have one face. Okay. This uh, triangle, one face. This uh, pentagon, one face, and this square would be one face. Most of your polygons um, that are one-dimensional are going to have one face. All right, vertices. Vertices are corners of polygons. Okay, we'll use the obvious one, corners of a triangle. I've got one, two, three corners of a triangle. Okay. How about this one? I have a corner here, 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 here. Sorry, here here and here. So I should have six vertices. Okay. Vertices are, are um, if you only have one vertice, like if you were talking about an angle, this right here is your vertice. Okay. That would be a vertex. Now here I've got one, two, three, four, five vertices. And here I've got one, two, three, four vertices. That's good. Okay, all right, let's take a look at this. All right, so I have your figure. Oops. Maybe. All right, so I have a triangle. Okay, I know that's a triangle. Its name is a triangle. It's got one face. It's got three edges and three vertices, right? Three corners. Good. All right. Um, on a piece of paper, I want you to make a chart similar to this, okay? So this is going to be a square. This will be a rectangle. This is going to be a trapezoid. This is going to be a pentagon. This is going to be an octagon. And this is going to be a decagon, okay?
I'll give you the names around the square. Rectangle, trapezoid. Pentagon means five. Hexagon means six. Octagon means eight. Did I say decagon? I meant octagon, my bad. Decagon is ten, which you'll you'll wonder that later too. Alright, so um oh look at that. All right, so uh, fill out the rest of this chart on your board. Okay, so I want to know how many faces uh, the square has, how many edges the square has, how many vertices the square has. Do the same thing for rectangle, rectangle, trapezoid, pentagon, hexagon, and octagon. And I'll take a look at that tomorrow. All right, one thing you need to know is uh, regular and not regular, which is irregular. Okay, a regular polygon has a side with equal length. And all angles equal in measure. Okay, so if you have um, a uh, a triangle like this, okay, there really isn't no regular triangle because you don't have all angles equal in measure. Okay, this is a 90 degrees. These are not 90 degrees in measure. Okay, um, and a regular or not regular polygon does not have equal length or angle. Okay, so if I had um, a rectangle, those are not equal in length, right? So that would be an irregular. All right, let's take a look at our homework. Name the polygon. Tell if it appears regular or not regular. Okay, tell if it appears regular or not regular. Um, so number one, how many, uh, it doesn't look like your average polygon, okay? In fact, the video and any other thing would tell you is probably not a polygon, polygon, but it's got how many edges? So count the edges. I got one, two, three, four, five, okay? So what kind of polygon was that? Who remembers what, um, a five-sided polygon is? Okay, it's called a pentagon. Okay, and fact, I should, let's do something real quick. I'm going to make you a little chart real fast. Okay. So, um, let's get out of there. So, penta has five sides. A hexagon, six sides. An octagon. has eight sides, it's like a stop sign, and a decagon has ten sides. Okay. Make note of that, you'll need it. All right, so going back to our homework, that's a pentagon, and it is irregular, right? Because it doesn't have equal lengths. It's irregular uh, pentagon, or polygon, sorry. Um, this triangle I'm going to give to you, because it is regular, all of these angles, if you knew how to do a com uh, compass, you'd be able to see, or a protractor, you'd see that those angles are all equal, so it is a regular. Okay, um, I'll let you do three and four on its own. Okay, number five, tell if each figure is a polygon. Okay, remember, is this, we don't really have curves as far as polygons go. There's no curves in polygons. Um, Polygons are also close sided, so make sure you remember those few things about polygons. Choose a figure below that does not belong. Okay, so look at A, B, C, and D. It's like those games you used to play with as a kid. Which one of these do not belong in the picture? You guys are too young for Sesame Street, it's sad. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what you'll do. Uh, number 10, what is the smallest polygon in the pattern? Okay, so take a look at this pattern right here. See if you can find out what the smallest polygon would be in that pattern. 
Um, what other polygons do you see? I see a couple of different polygons in there. And which is a six-sided polygon? We talked about that. How many angles does an octagon have? So count the angles. All right. WSQ, work on your um, practice book page, obviously, and then pick three polygons and explain what they are and draw an example. And we shall see you in the morning.